Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful sh All right. Um, I really have no clue on what to say about this dude. I have no clue on what to say about this dude. So if any of y'all saw this Dave Wilson video, I I did not want to do this video, but I had to. Yeah, y'all see my mini me popping up in the back. I didn't want to do this video. I promise you, I did not want to do a video like this. But he just can't stop. So I'll address the video. And then I'll, I don't even know what order to go in. First off, there's the lie. And in this particular lie, he's still acting as if he didn't try to denounce the American bully and says that they cut the interview short and this and that and the other and what he was trying to explain. And no matter how short they cut an interview, Dave, we heard exactly what you said. You said that there was no such thing as an XL bully. You went on to say that they made it up. Now you try to spin it and say you 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 were saying that they make their own variation, but the truth of the matter is is that you're lying. The people who did the interview can give you can give out the footage of the whole interview. That's not a problem, Dave. But more so, it wouldn't make sense for you to say that there is no such thing as an American bully, XL at any point in the interview. Uh, anybody with common sense would have just said, period, that's not an American Bully XL, if that's what you were talking about. You wouldn't have said that's an, that there's no such thing as an American Bully XL. That's absolute nonsense. So as we get to this point, I wanna point that out. But then the next thing, he goes on to make this long speech and talks about they have a hundred I told y'all that they have over a hundred thousand uh XL bullies registered in the UK and yada 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 and now he starts the guilt trip <sighs> next lie he told is that there's no dangerous dogs anywhere you know first he said the American bully is not dangerous but then statistics, and he kept saying there's no statistic, it's statistical, man. There's no statistic proof, he kept saying, no statistic proof that there's any dangerous dogs. It's, the, the stats just don't show that. Dave, another huge mistake. If you're gonna address the fact that a child was mauled, a man was killed, a lady was killed in Canada, several people have been killed in the United States by the dogs, if you're gonna address this, Partly what you said is true, that bad owners have a big thing to do with that. But stop saying there's no dangerous dogs. Even outside of this breed, yes, Dave, you dumb. There are, there are dangerous dogs. We're not going to sit here and just play stupid. And for him to keep repeating that there's no dangerous dogs, he made himself look more ridiculous than he already is. Let's put it that way. There are dangerous dogs. They do need to be treated as such. They need to be uh, taken care of as such. I won't name the breeds, but some some dogs are dangerous. We're not gonna sit here and lie. It, it dumbs down our con uh, our conversation and takes away from its authenticity. Now, after he goes on to this whole thing of, you know, it's gonna affect all dogs and still once again saying that the people in the UK were making a dog in an inadvertent way that they were mixing in other dogs, this, that, and the other. One would come back to you, Dave, and say, did you do anything about that? Because a lot of the dogs that you're saying are mixed dogs are registered as ABKC American bullies. So you knew, so now you're saying that you knew that the dogs were mixed, but the people were doing it on their own. And what you said about the American bully before not being a dog, it really is a dog, but the people are messing up the dog, but you're still registering the dog because you have a hundred thousand of those dogs registered over there. And all these people are showing ABKC paperwork. It's, it's strange. But the kicker, the kicker, 
the kicker of all of this is this part. And y'all watch the video and y'all see. And I'm just sitting here and I'm amazed at the stupidity. I'm amazed at the insensitivity. I'm amazed that he wouldn't have figured this out because I, 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 I thought he was smarter than this. But then he compares the dog people to the Gestapo. If you don't know what the Gestapo is, it's basically Hitler's police that did a lot of bad things. Next, he compares a situation that he's made up in his mind that the UK is going to send out a bunch of people and rip the dogs away from their families. And as they rip the dogs away from their families, like the Gestapo, they're going to take the dogs to places like concentration camps. Dave. Do you think it's appropriate? We all love dogs, but do you think it's appropriate for you to make such references in such a very, very serious matter as the Holocaust? And he literally came out and said, it's going to be like the Holocaust. He even he even told the prime minister that if you go through with this, you're going to be just like Adolf Hitler. Now, as you know, I am very serious about this situation, but I do apologize to anyone that this dumbass offended by comparing a BSL law and the situation that is ongoing, which is a very serious situation. But come on, man, you're going to use the Holocaust as your crying, your damn battle cry for the dogs. The video was horrible. His lying is horrible. And I think he has once again put his foot in his mouth and went to an all time low by comparing the dogs to Holocaust victims. Now, I don't get me wrong. I think it's very, very serious and I don't want to see anything happen to these dogs. But come on, Dave, you don't compare the dogs to people who had very, very terrible things done to them. And worse yet, if you're making a plea to the prime minister of a country. He is the prime minister, whether you respect the country, whether you respect his authority or whatever, he's the prime minister. You don't tell him that he's Adolf Hitler if he does this, this but you're the president of the largest organization of these dogs. So I'm sure that you ingratiated yourself very well to the prime minister by for one, comparing him banning dogs that have mauled and killed people in his country to the Holocaust and him turning into Adolf Hitler because he is trying to resolve a situation that could have been sat down and talked about in a smart way, but now you've taken it to a, a very high level. I'm pretty sure he's very, very fucking happy about you comparing him to the damn Adolf Hitler. And I'm sure that Jewish people everywhere are just very, very delighted by the fact that you are comparing dogs being taken through BSL to the Holocaust. Dude, stop making videos. Stop fucking talking. You lied. You abandoned the breed. For years, you have not regulated the breed, and this is why we are here. You have not regulated that you knew that they were breeding boar bulls into them. You knew that they were breeding South African, uh, I mean, excuse me, uh, Alapahas into them. You knew that they were breeding different types of mastiff into the dogs as the dogs kept getting more and more larger and more and more mastiff like. But you love the money. This is why you yourself. Before you went on and said that the XL didn't uh, uh, exist, you were bragging about you starting a Razor's Edge XL bully line just a few months ago. I don't even know if that was a full two months ago. Dude, you're a habitual liar and you're an embarrassment not only to the community, but you're an embarrassment to your family. You're an embarrassment to white people. You're an embarrassment to everybody. You're an embarrassment to America. You're just a damn embarrassment. And this was the most embarrassing thing we have seen. It's called accountability. At some point in time, it would have been nice if you would have stepped to the scene and said, you know what? We have not done the best job at making sure that these dogs are safe. 
we have not done the best job in making sure that people don't get hurt or harmed and regulating what is put into these dogs and properly temperament testing and mandating things as we have seen a problem come about. But to cast blame everywhere else, to bring Adolf Hitler and the Nazis and the Jewish people into this, to do all the things you did, it's, that is the true atrocity, since you wanted to use that word. As I told y'all, man, Boycott the ABKC. Start going to other registries where people can be taken seriously. You got the damn village idiot running this thing, and he's getting worse and worse. What next, Dave? I never thought that you would sink this low, but really, what? what do we, I'm going to sit back and watch, because every time I think you can't get any damn stupider, guess what? You prove me wrong. You prove me wrong every damn time. So prove me wrong one more time. Do another interview and show just how stupid you are the next time out. Until next time, y'all. God bless y'all. I'm sorry if I offended anybody by even speaking on this thing. God bless all y'all. Peace.